I'm going to show you something else that's quite cool. So in other apps, we only ever have this concept of there being one scene at a time. Like in, in Blender, if you wanted to have a different scene open, you'd have to essentially go and open a second instance of Blender. And uh, in Unreal Engine, we have this concept of levels. So this was kind of the precursor of the world streaming that we have now so that uh, cells as you approach them automatically load and unload but for cinematics the sort of thing that we do here is not really world streaming we don't really need that so here what i can do and this is exciting for different lighting scenarios so instead of just having one level you can have multiple level attached to one main level so like all the lights that are in this level i can go and copy out and move to a different level and then i can switch that level on and off and that's kind of an exciting concept here so i'll go and make myself a new folder i'll call that one sub levels just so that i know what that is and up here i'm going to go and create a new level and that now is going to be an empty level so we're not going to see anything i'll put that into sub levels here and this is going to be i'm going to call this one default lights just because i can and then in default light, so this one's now highlighted or highlit. So if you go to your highlighter and you grab all the lighting bits and pieces and select those that come with the default level, you can go and right click here and say move selected actors to level. And when you do that, you can say, yeah, that's cool. Apply to all. It's perfect. Then nothing's changed in the level, but everything has been put onto a separate level and moved out of the main level. So the good news is now I can go and switch off the lights and I'm left with something that isn't lit at all. So Lumen is still kind of calculating. So as the original light bouncer stop working, we're going to hopefully have a completely black scene. And the cool thing is now I can go and these are the default lights. If I wanted to go back to those, I can. But now I can go and bring in a different lighting solution and then and put that either on the persistent level or even make another one. So I might call this one here. Uh, whoops. <laughs> Just make another level here. Create new. It's also going to be empty. And in this, I'm going to call this one UDS default. There. Let's do that and nothing's on here but if i do put something in here then it'll end up on the level that's currently highlighted so persistent level that's our original level and just by clicking this and entering return i can go there or from this little menu down here you can also switch which level you'd like to be on so i'm going to go back to the uds default and then i'll go and bring in ultra dynamic sky that's the one left click and drag that blueprint in wait a second and see how that looks. So the good thing is with that now selected, I can go and do other things. So first of all, out of the bat, out of the box, I already see that the lights look much nicer already. So I don't have that problem that I had earlier there. And also we have, we have weather options now that we can <laughs> dial in and uh, spin things around. I always forget where that is. We can animate the time of day and we can start the day as well. So the Dusk dawn timer is that again. The time of day is currently 960. It's kind of 930 in the morning, I guess. But if you wanted to make it six o'clock, then the whole thing takes on a very different, very different, very different look and feel. Or we can make it like 12 o'clock. Oh, that, that's midnight now, isn't it? Also, skies come out. Skies and the sun, all that comes out. Oh, there's the moon. That's quite cool. That's quite nice. So then three in the morning, the moon moves. So as you animate this value, you can actually see the moon travel. That's kind of nice, isn't it? So 500, the moon, moon goes down. So maybe something like 530, something like a... I don't want to make it too dark. That could look really cool. I can see if I can animate the the time of day as we travel through Venice. That would also be good. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? There's another one. This one was free a while ago. It's, it's not free anymore, but you have to buy this. But it's a good one by Everett Gunther. He made this. And the other one that's similar to this is called Easy Sky. That's by a Dutch company. That's kind of similar. And the other cool thing about this is that um, if I just bring in a... like. Let's say 
let's let's call it 11. Let's do 11. Uh, this has a weather component as well. So if I go and left click and drag the weather in, then it, I think, automatically finds ultra dynamic sky. So it works in conjunction with it. And it, I believe, uh, goes and kind of hooks up and it goes and produces rain and all kinds of other effects. So also very, very cool. If we wanted to have it rain, then, you know, now, now it rains. And there's some other presets that you have, so you can have it like, you know, thunderstorms and thicker cloud coverage and all that. So that's that's all that's all possible. I don't know if I'm going to use it, but uh, it's it's definitely it's definitely possible. Here's there clear skies. I can go and switch that back to clear skies. <laughs> that's quite nice. Or you bring it to cloudy. If we think you know cloudy is nice. Some puddles on the floor already. That's kind of cool. Or we go and make it foggy. So that's kind of the, the fog that I would probably use instead of the one that came with the level. But it being foggy, you don't see any, any definition in the sky. So maybe something like a like a clear sky would have been would have been nicer. It's a bit of overcast weather, also possible. Partly cloudy. Well, it's not partly cloudy. Yeah, it's a little bit partly cloudy. That's that's not bad. Partly cloudy, we see some definition in the sky. That is, that's quite nice. <laughs> Crank up the saturation a little bit and, and we're almost there. Oh, cloud speed multiplier. I think if we set that to five and the clouds just travel a little bit faster. <laughs> also not bad. Or if we wanted to have them travel even faster than that. Good stuff, huh? <laughs> it's just partly cloudy. Then there's also rain. We've seen rain. The rain just goes, starts to rain. There is a very cool function in this. I mean, look, you can see the material being affected on the ground already. But if you wanted to see this, these puddles animate, there is a material change that you can make. And then that that also happens. So this is kind of a kind of a cool way to see actual animations in rain. There's also if you had objects. Now, do we have objects here? We don't. But if we did, you could get this um, the materials to hook into the ultra dynamic weather, and then you'd see things like leaking down on cars and barrels. It's very it's very cool. It's a it's, it's just a, a node you have to plug in. I don't think I'll do that because it'll be a bit, you know, it just all of this takes time. I think I just want to find a nice mood here. Rain and thunderstorm as well. Well, that's I don't think it's I don't I don't see it thundering. Sandstorm. Also not bad. Gives us an apocalyptic feel. <laughs> and then maybe snow as well. Is it snowing? I can't tell. Oh, there we go. It's snowing now. <laughs> Easy Sky does this that it doesn't have snow as such. It has the concept of a temperature. So you say, well, there is rain, but if the temperature happens to be below zero degrees centigrade, the rain turns into snow. That's also nice. A nice way of doing it. So now we have, we have a Christmas scene here. Snow blizzard. Oh yeah, very nice. <laughs> now we have <laughs> Venice in the winter. Yeah, I think on second thought here, yeah, I think from here to there, this looks nice, but because we keep encountering these bridges, it might just be disruptive, I'm thinking. And I don't want to rip the set apart and take the bridges out. That'd be that'd be bad. I'm also not sure about the blizzard atmosphere, so I might I might not do that. <laughs> or maybe I will, I don't know. What do you think? Blizzard or no blizzard? Clear skies? Rain? I I don't I don't know what to use now. But yeah, this was my original idea. Be close to the water and just have something like this. And then there's there's going to be, you know, people walking past there. Maybe the bridges don't matter so much. Maybe I will do that first and I'll see what, what happened. And then we're going the other way, left to right. So I think I might, I might do that. No blizzard. But bridges are fine. Okay, great. Brian, that really helps. Thank you.